Hey everyone, before this video gets started, I've had some back pain in the last few days and it's been really hard to sit in my computer chair and actually record these. It, this video is actually coming out a day late, but I did get all of the prices updated on Monday like I normally would. It is just a day late and that is all. I'm so sorry about this and next week we should be right back on schedule. So take it easy. What's going on my dummies and welcome to the Digimon Digital Market. If you're new to this series, it is where I look at the top five cards that have increased in value and the top five cards that have decreased in value over a weekly period. I do not include any pre-order prices with this list as it changes drastically overnight. Remember, I record these videos around six to eight hours before they are posted so the prices are subject to change when you see it. Today, we are going to go over the increased cards first, and there is some interesting things happening in the market. The highest increase we have is the same as last week being Kaiser Nails going up a whopping 109% to $2.91. The Megazoo decks are playing this card heavily, and with it being one of the decks that beat Rookie Rush and Yellow Control decks, it's easy to see this card continuing to climb over the next few weeks. Up next, we have Seven Heavens. This is the regular art from the starter deck, going up 30% to $7.13. This price increase should have been a few weeks ago when the red-yellow control deck started making its mark on the metagame. More than likely, what we're seeing is a surplus of yellow decks dissipating in the market trying to keep up with it. Next up is a card I didn't expect to see climbing for a few months. That card is Beelzemon Regular Art, going up 18% to 4899 This climb could be from one of two reasons. The first reason is because of the support that has been revealed for BT6 Double Diamond, which will not come out until the end of this year to beginning of next year. The second reason it could be climbing is due to BT4 Great Legends release and Anubis Mon Synergy with Entmon. Regardless what this being a secret rare from set 1.0, keep an eye on it. The next card on the move up is the secret rare Metal Greymon regular art going up 18% to 2434. This increase is likely due to the Red Black Megazoo list playing him as a 2 or 3 of, or it could be from the excitement from the Greymon support we're getting in BT4 Great Legends coming out in a few weeks from now. I believe this card will continue to climb because it is a set 1.0 secret and it is playable to a degree. Alright guys, the final card that has gained value this week is Upamon from BT1 going up 17% to $4.51. This increase is likely due to the surge of Rookie Rush and Megazoo lists needing, it, needing four of these, along with a lot of blue decks that include Imperial Dramon, Old Force Vigramon, and the upcoming Garurumon decks. This isn't a big jump, mind you, and Upamon has always been a high-valued rare. I would keep an eye on it if you're looking to pick them up. The next cards we'll be going over is the top five values that have dropped this week. And mind you, there are some really strange things going on with the dropping in the market right now. The biggest drop we have this week is the alternate art Holy Wave from the second dash pack dropping 42% to $2.54. This drop is likely to red yellow control not showing up the results that it has been due to Mega Zoo. This card's price normally sits around two to three dollars anyway, so nothing too interesting here. Up next we have Patamon from the special booster 0, 0.0 dropping 42% to seven dollars and thirteen cents. This drop again is due to red yellow control stabilizing in the game. I expect this card to drop a good bit more coming in the coming months to about $5 like the rest of 0.0, .0 cards. Up next, we have a surprise and Metal Seedramon alt art dropping 40% to $4.80. This drop we have been waiting for since the massive spike he had about three weeks ago. It's down to about $5 like it has been since its release again. So if you want one for collection now, is the time to swipe it. 
Next on the list, we have Black War Greymon from BT2, dropping 23% to $10.13. This card being a secret and not having any relevant home to a deck makes its price kind of awful. It is a card people want to collect, however. Play-wise, it is not great. If you're looking to pick up a copy or two, now is a perfect time before its price comes back up. The final card on the list is, I'm going to butcher this, Curry Sarimon from the tournament pack, dropping 19% to 1419. This card, along with the other tournament pack cards, have stayed the same and dropped a little bit this week. Um, this means there is more in circulation, and people are willing, people willing to pay the scalping price have gotten the cards they wanted. So it is only fair that all these cards drop in price in the next month or so. All right, everyone, that is all for the Digimon Digital Market. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think of these changes. Do you have any predictions? Let me hear my read each and every comment and respond to each and every one. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with the digital market as they are released. And as always, guys, have a blessed one.